probably know, doing a show down in Seaforth. Guess who we met down there, folks? You're never gonna believe this. Big Michael Caine. Al Pacino was there as well. And uh, the one and only Joe Pesci. He was down there in this bed and breakfast we were uh, we were staying in. Here, you see that? That's Van Morrison and Sting. Do you know, yes. I don't know what they're doing here in Seaford. Mind you, I don't know what I'm doing here in Seaford. Oh, yeah, the money in the sleepy town. Well, yeah, there's a fat boy on there from Ireland. Yeah, he's just a rubber ball. The big fat Irish rubber ball. Caesar bin. Caesar bin. Why Caesar bin? Fish the fuck. Why, yeah, yeah, no, no. We were talking to Sting, and, and uh, I, kept, I think it was, I mentioned 20 times, you know, it was funny, he was called Sting, and I was, it was a nervous thing, you know, I was dressed as a bumblebee, and there was Sting, and I don't think he meant to hit me with a chair. I'm having a terrible time. This B and B makes Wormwood Scrubs look like the Holiday Inn. Uh, Mike, <laughs> Mike, this, this, this is this is Mike Duggan, fellow actor in the show. He does a lovely bit of business with a with a, with a paint pot. <laughs> tell, tell him about it, Dougie. Come on. Hey, remember me, Mike? Wild Geese, Fly South, '73. I was the second century. You and I, uh, David McCullum, had to come across the rail tracks. You remember, I was standing there, I was going, oh, who goes there? Yes, it was a turning point in my career. Hamzy, can I, can I ask you a little question? Oh, here, this Quantro. Oh, don't it, it, it really gives you some more, a warm, a warm beat. Ooh, Jimmy. Yes? Question. Well, question. Do you find me attractive at all? Well, since you are, and of course, bearing in mind that I am a married woman. Yes, Here, I do. Jimmy. Here, fill your boots, mate. You don't get lost out there. <laughs> I think I'll go and get myself a prostitute. This one's busy tonight. <laughs> or better still, I'm going to knock one out, can I? Quite simply, Gray and I are very much in love, and we live a very Spartan life. We're a pair of little Puritans, really. Everybody's fucking listening to us. They love them, man. They're fucking wrapped out there. You're, not You're a fucking old jock. Uh, you are a fucking old jock, Van. I've come here to laugh at you. What you doing now? It's going right in my fucking ear, that noise. You know, it's like. People like that sort of voice. It sounds like a fucking budgery gar and crack, you know? You know that tune, Len? That's an old Italian tune. It makes you sad, you know. Because you know there's one day that fire's going to get out. Glenn, you must have been born on a forest blade. Excuse me, sir. Wow. You do realise, of course, it's against the council bylaws to light a bonfire on a public beach. You get that fucking torch out of my face and you stick it up your ass. And while you're about it, you stick the fucking council up there with it. I see, sir, like that. Don't you know who I am? I'm Al Pacino. I do know that, sir, but you're still going to have to come down to the station to answer a few questions. Oh, for fuck's sake! Want to stop for another cup of tea, Dave? Love to, but uh, I've got a meeting with an heiress at Presley's in uh, 20. Yeah, well, you can call a cab. Come on, stop another five minutes. Hey, tell you what, the old hole in the soul's getting deeper and darker. Catch you later. There's this great little band from Spalding called um, the Lilliputians. I don't know if you've heard them. They're all they're all really tall. You know, that's fucking. It's just funny in itself. You know, these guys. The lead singer, Derek Olo. I've got to go upstairs and listen to Book at Bedtime. It's Martin Jarvis reading The Woman in Black. Yeah, no, I know. I understand that. I fucking understand that. I got to turn in anyway. I got to turn in anyway. I'll get myself a night cafe. I'll be all right. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, nice to talk to you anyway, and catch you later, guys. I've got to hit the hay. Uh, 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 boy, Dougie. <sighs> now, nah, listen, Jack, where are you stopping? 
Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, I've got an arrangement with the man who runs the pudding green. Very snug little storeroom. Oh, well, that wasn't until yesterday. Uh, you know, because he's got to keep the grass all in there for the winter. So I better be off. Uh, I'm you know, something will turn yeah. up, you yeah. know. Yeah. There'll be something empty. Half my life, that is. <laughs> Look. Do you know, I've got a terrible sense of deja vu. There are two beds in my room, and I'm in one of them. Jimmy, Here goes. Have, have Listen, Jack. Home. Yes? No, it's all right. Don't bother, Jimmy. Why don't you come and stop in my room? Oh, Mike, you're such a mate. No, Jack, I don't want none of that stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Sure you don't want to hear a good golfing story about me and Duffy Waldorf? I just want your full name, sir. OK, you got it. Alphonse, Spiermonte, Waterpatter, Whiz Beach, Guindo, Harry Carpenter, Pacino. Place of birth? Some place between Amsterdam and Barcelona, in a goods carriage. My mother died almost immediately. I held her in my arms when I was barely an hour old. Right. Um, I should like to inform you, sir, that you are actually being detained overnight, but you do have the right to make one phone call, and the phone is out there. I know that. Follow me. Yeah, this is Al Pacino. Now listen carefully, this is important. I need your help. Okay, tomatoes, olives, uh, no anchovies, and pepperoni. What, 30 minutes? Okay. I got a guy here who'll tell you where to send it. Hey, kid, tell him where to send the pizza. This is a dodgy. Again. I'll get it right this time. He's been talking in his sleep the last hour and a half. Oh. Even his bleeding subconscious is haunted. Oh. Jack, Jack, the gold say, oh. wake up, oh. wake up. Oh. oh, Mike, Mike, where are my glasses? Here they are. Oh. 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 oh, there you are. Oh, I dreamt I was in Catholic Cup. Yes, I know, I got live coverage, didn't oh. I? <laughs> 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 I might go. I hope this isn't what I think it is. The horrible thing about all this is that it's actually happening. The fucking ceiling was coming down on me. I felt like fucking Bing Crosby and White Christmas. I nearly blew away the bawling, fornicating fucking sad asses, you know. <laughs> the reason that Joe heard noises was because he has got what is called titination which is uh, chronic noises in the ears. <laughs> mm. Oh, Jackie Milburn! Oh. 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 